On the 30th of April, Norwich Livestock Market Director Richard Criddle was finally arrested after months of consistently assaulting and driving a HGV into protesters outside the livestock market and right in front of the police. He was clearly very angry about this and shouldered past me, which is yet another assault. I responded by pushing him away with a flat palm and very little force, which just made him laugh. Richard is twice my size, was the instigator and already being detained by police, but rather than reprimand him, PC1863 Daniel Briggs was dismissive and blamed me for defending myself. It was so obvious that Briggs and the officer who was partnered with PC2204 Weatherstone were tasked with tailing and targeting me that morning. Right from the start, Briggs especially had an awful attitude, refusing to investigate my complaints about offences committed by farmers, whilst following me everywhere and looking for any excuse to give me directives. Briggs and Weatherstone threatened me with arrest despite the fact numerous farmers were filming me from inside their vehicles. The police had body-worn cameras, there is CCTV everywhere, the farmers had their own cameras up and many of them and other activists used body cams or phones to film. Singling me out was an overt act of discrimination. Not only that, but filming in a public place is entirely lawful anyway. It stands to reason that I would want to film the protest and its subjects, plus the conduct of police, as a matter of public interest. Farmers regularly commit vehicle offences and animal welfare breaches, as well as assaulting, spitting at and driving into protesters. So it's important to film for evidence and to protect myself from false malicious allegations. I put this to the two constables and they told me that filming could be seen as harassment. This indicates no one had actually complained about feeling harassed, rather the officers were preemptively assuming the feelings of imaginary victims to abuse the Public Order Act and impede on my civil liberties. Briggs was watching me like a hawk all morning, smirking and whispering with his little buddy, and I asked him if my ears should be burning before commenting to another activist that he was gunning to arrest me. So it was no surprise when he did exactly that, despite the fact I'd done absolutely nothing wrong. But since Richard had been arrested, the police seemed even more intent on arresting me to even the score. It's my strongest suspicion that there is some kind of financial or fraternal arrangement between the police and the livestock market. This suspicion was further compounded when Sergeant 1793 Ali Tassi checked the PNC and told me that none of the previous offences activists reported Richard for had even been logged. A good few of us had given statements and video evidence over the course of several months and were told at the time the incidents had been recorded and would be investigated. So as my arrest on 3004 was politically motivated and unlawful, I decided to be non-compliant and go limp. Briggs responded by dragging me by my handcuff wrist, pulling my arms backwards so they took the full weight of my body at a painful and unnatural angle. He proceeded to lie continuously. He lied about the reasons for using handcuffs, on one hand saying that he didn't know me and that's why he was using them, but that he also did know me and again that was why he was using handcuffs, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever. He lied about the nature of conversations that I'd had with farmers, he lied about my conduct, and in doing so, he perfectly exemplified why it's so important that we have the right to film in a public place. Some of the farmers and their hired security thugs used their body-worn cameras to film me being arrested for filming them. And whilst I was arrested in front of everyone, Richard had been afforded the privacy of driving himself into the market before arrest so that a police car could drive in and collect him out of sight of the activists. On request, Sergeant Tassie came over to explain the grounds for arrest and stated that farmers had told the police they feel harassed, alarmed and distressed by me filming. And yet Tassie couldn't name a single one of these farmers as obliged if these were genuine complainants and formal allegations. I submit that the police accosted the farmers after the event of my arrest to try and substantiate it. According to Tassie, jokingly asking a farmer what's it like in a police cell, which wasn't even me it turns out, was part of the grounds for arrest. Policing conversations between grown adults, what a bunch of bedwetters. When I was clumsily dragged to the police van, the dumb constables realised that they hadn't searched me, and so they put me down right in the middle of a trail of animal shit that a farmer's filthy trailer had left down the entire length of the road. 
As police bundled me into the back of the van, my feet ended up underneath it, prompting PC Briggs to further arrest me for obstruct PC, despite the fact I hadn't resisted arrest and I had been passive throughout. I was detained at the police station for 13 and a half hours. According to the custody sergeant who bailed me, Riled Up Richie was released at half 10 in the evening, just an hour before me. Yet, according to the Livestock Market Facebook page, Criddle was released early in the afternoon and returned to the livestock market after the protesters had left. Both the farmers and police are prolific liars, so I couldn't tell you which of these accounts is true. Why is she being handcuffed? What are the grounds for arrest? What have I done? What are the grounds for arrest? We'll talk about that very shortly. No, we won't. We'll talk about it now. Why are you cuffing me? What's the necessity for the cuffs? Because I don't know you and you could be unpredictable. If you don't know me, you know my name. What has she done? I never told you my name. Is it for something that's happened today? Public order, what are the grounds for the arrest? Section 4A. All right, you've been told numerous times about your behaviour. No, come on, let's go. What behaviour? Can you tell us what, please? What are you doing? Lying down, mate. You have to come out of the road. Come on, up again. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh
Uh, have you explained what the second offence yeah, is? Yeah, it's the same Don't thing. drag me up, Mama. Oh, it's on occasions today. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at Debbie. Yeah. Take yeah. pictures. Look, they're hurting. By my wrist. They're hurting her. You're holding me up. Yeah. By my wrist. Don't you need to go down there and be security for the market? This is illegal. You're assaulting me. You are assaulting me. The handcuffs are assaulting the first place. I didn't resist arrest. This is illegal. This is illegal. You are illegally arresting me and you are illegally assaulting me. <coughs> but I haven't, I was filming around the area. You have you, well, you've got your cams on. Yeah, the whole thing. Well, then you can every have a single, complaint. Every single part of my part of the You can film the car properly. Yeah, every single part. You're allowed. Well, no, as a, as a police officer, it's my head. I'm here to police. I'm here to give you guys the right to police and protest. Yeah, and he's got a hell of a I'm protesting not being I'll explain to you. No, you haven't you explained shit. I have. You haven't. You're being a pedantic little idiot. No, I said Gemma. And I will put a complaint about you and I'll see you. You need to make an arrest. You are pulling me up by my arm. Look what you're doing to me. I'll arrest you. Could you do me a favour? Could you ask, could you remove those people from spectating? Because we're not allowed no, to witness the arrest when the farmers are arrested, and yet they've been clearly allowed to stand yeah. here yeah. and intimidate so her. It's, 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 her, it's her decency, it's common decency. That, it, that they're hovering around floating. Yeah, we weren't allowed into the, the, the livestock market when the arrest was made there. Because otherwise, when there's another arrest, we'll, we'll just go into the market, you yeah, know, because it's, it's not, she's got no privacy at the moment. Yeah? yeah? And they're just standing there. Yeah, I'm, 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 but if they want to stand and film, I can't stop them from doing that. Right, yeah, well, then we'll do the same thing. That's totally fair. We'll do the same thing. Exactly um, that. Yes. You arrest her. She gets arrested and filmed. Yes. And they go. What's she been arrested for? Public order. Oh, yeah. I'm filming that, though. I mean, this is very silly. What's your back What's your name? Collar 1863 Briggs. Briggs. Yes. Right, okay. I'm going to take a little bit here. Watch your back. Why is it that when you arrest a farmer, you take a car in there and sort them out? But when I'm arrested, it happens right here in front of everyone. Why is that? Jim, I think you're the one who's making the scene down there right now. Jim, are you okay? I, I, I was trying to do it. You the could come sit out the way in one of our cars if you wanted to. I'm not going anywhere. You'll be carrying me to that man. Every bloody last second away, you'll be carrying me. Poor Jeff. Poor of you. Jim, you're not going to be in the middle of your arrest. And make sure you do it properly, because I'll sue you for assault as well. This is assault. There's no need for handcuffs. You do know that unnecessary use of handcuffs is assault. Do I look like I'm going anywhere? Yeah, I, I, I have a rational reason for why I'm using why? handcuffs. Why? Tell me why you're using handcuffs. Because well, I know you previous. You said earlier you didn't okay. know me. You've never met me before. There's, 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 an, allegation, there's, there's, there's an allegation before. So hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure earlier. it was your name. I'm pretty, pretty sure. I don't know yet. Oh, I do know you. Yeah, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure it was your name. The assault PC allegation Briggs just mentioned happened on the 19th of February when PC Arvinda Bogle arrested me over bail conditions I proved I was no longer subject to because the court had recently rescinded them. My body was limp and being manoeuvred by police into the back of the van when my cuffed hands made contact with a PC during the melee. PC Bogle seized the opportunity to bolster his unlawful arrest by further arresting me for assault PC. Obviously, there was no evidence against me and the allegation was NFA'd. The only person who was assaulted that morning was me and I was left covered in bruises. But in raising his knowledge of this, Bully Boy Briggs proved he knows who I am and was lying before. No, I've never personally dealt with you, Gemma. 
Yes, and that's one of my reasons for using it. They always do before they put them in the bag. I don't know how they're behaving. I didn't say that, did I? You did, stop. I didn't say you were wrong. You do realise this is me and all. This is all being recorded. It absolutely is, yes. So why are you telling me so many lies when you know you're on camera? Where's that sergeant? I don't think I, it was, was for that car, was it? Yeah, they're saying that I've been filming too close. But the, the people, how come then the people inside the cars are allowed to film my face? Are you recording this? Because I'm asking yeah. them questions to yeah. try and justify the disparity and they can't do so it. So they filmed you back on one occasion? No, it was more than one occasion. No, don't lie, I've been back. recorded. Yeah, I have I've been recorded. recorded. All as well. I've recorded it all as well. So do you record? So they record. Why, why is it only me who's not allowed to record? I think that's a sergeant. Is that the sergeant up there? Can you go and get him? Because I want to speak to him. I don't know what this is about. It's dangerous to get a sergeant. Can you, you get arrested for that as well? We know, Could you ask the sergeant to cut down for us? Because I'm filming. Yeah, we've got the gate. Thank you. The little one on the gate. Right, Daniel Dockbridge. Let's have a look. Say what? Daniel Dockbridge. Let's have a look. Daniel Briggs. I'm going to guess. There's a picture of a car, there's a profile picture. Fishing, for his colour <laughs> photo. Fishing. Interest, no, I'm not a fisher. <laughs> interest, Nando's, cars, Love Island, Love Island, definitely. No. Probably a picture of a dog he's bought from a breeder. What dog do you think I have? Oh, something sorry. big to make you feel like a, a no. rock miler. Do you think that's then you feel pals? Gemma, there are several people inside that livestock market here who have made allegations against you. Just listen, I'm trying to explain to you, right? You're saying you haven't adequate explanations. I'm trying to do it for you, all right? Of causing intentional harassment, alarm, and distress. Filming inside people's cabs through the side windows, which you've been warned not to do several times. Asking questions around what's it like being inside a prison cell, etc., etc. All right? There are the allegations. Yeah, I'm being arrested because I said, what's it like inside a police Gemma. cell? You are ridiculous. Gemma. Can you hear yourself? I can hear myself. Like, just stop. There are the allegations. All right, to explain to you. Okay, so I said to someone, what is it like inside a prison cell? You also been repeatedly banging on people's windows. I know, I know. 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 I know
Are you seriously going to uphold this arrest? Are you really going to uphold this arrest? you don't want to hurt your wrist, do you? Come on. You don't want to hurt my wrist. No, I don't. Poor people. You're doing this wrong. Come on. Hang on, Gemma. Can you just stand up? Where's the other two that are supposed to be holding her? Like you say, this is all being recorded, so I, if I were you, I'd get two other people holding her right now. Well, I've got one Gemma, is there anything we can do? Just That's not four. I know you're not very smart, but two plus one does not equal four. Apart from that, is there anything we can do that really Absolutely. Really you really can help you this one. Um, I'll take a look. Can you one more person? At least someone knows what they're doing. Right? Come on. Be here. Ready? Three, two, one, and lift. Need another person. Dad, come back. 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 Dad, come Do you want it turned off? Um, so it doesn't leak? Gemma, you are. You clearly are. are you it's your last Gemma, chance. You can get chance. out. Anything we can reasonably all say to get your feet up from under there. You are moving my feet. I'm not in control of my body. Right. Gemma. Come on, Gemma. Just, I can't can you move her legs around then? This is assault. Look what you're doing right. to my arms. No, we're lifting you up because you're not helping, are you? You're obstructing it. Careful, kid. Goodbye. I'm just going to put you up underneath the arms, alright? Gemma, you're also under arrest for obstruct police, oh, alright? Same God. caution applies. Can you just give her a little shimmy in, please? <laughs> just put your back up there for me. 